top of the day to you on what's the word have you heard? Keep testing God's gangster. As believers, we were taught to uh, to shed this darkness or dark ways that lies within us. And it allows the light because God is light. He allows the spirit within us to shine bright. We're supposed to be lampstands here on this earth. We're supposed to be salt of the earth. We're supposed to show people how it is to walk with God, how to, you know, live with God in us. Remember I had told you about that? This is about the Emmanuel. Emmanuel, that's one of the names that when the, the, the word became flesh and it's supposed to manifest it, Emmanuel. God walks with us, okay? So that's what we must do as believers. We must shed that dark ways to allow the light to shine through us. Be light, okay? This is what we're supposed to do. But because of what the hand that we were dealt, okay, we understand that our ancestors used to follow God. And he was the only spirit that we used to follow. But because when we got on this earth and we decided that we wanted to be like other people because they feel like, you know, they're getting the best. They get more than what we have. And we have all these rules and regulations that we must follow. And so therefore, we didn't look like we was, you know, having much prosperity. But that is not the truth. Okay. So that's what the evil spirit does. The spirit of this world. It is designed to you know, still kill and destroy. All right. So we are called, we're being called to be in order, to be put into order. All right. We understand what our ancestors did, but do we still supposed to be on that same path? Do we still supposed to go on the same way? You know, yes. I mean, the things of this world we love, we indulge in. It's just, we inherit this from our ancestors, you know, <laughs> And let me tell you, some things are good and some things are bad, all right? But just like being called for our vote, everybody's calling for our vote, all right? So as we see as the election and different things happen, you know, years after years on this earth, you know, God is calling for our vote too. But at the same time, are we choosing him, okay? Then like... As the voting go on, we don't know who is who. We don't know whether people are going to be for us or against us because they keep, you know, saying, oh, this one is bad and that one bad. But we don't know. You know what I'm saying? Because both parties could be bad. You know what I'm saying? It could not be a good out view for us. But you have to pick the right vote. And voting on God, let me tell you, he doesn't change. What he said is what he said. OK, with these other elected people that we have here on earth, they say things. But do we know that they word is a bond? At least God's word is his bond. OK, so we are called and designed to be raw priesthood. We are to be a light. We are to be showing other people how the way to go. It is the way, the truth and that they may receive life is about an eternal life. You know, because we already know this flesh, this flesh has an expiration date. We don't know when. That's why I had always said that we should be ready. We don't know when that this expiration will happen. So always be called, you know, and ready when your number is being pulled here on this earth. Okay. So our temple should be dedicated to God if you believe in him. So where is our dedication? Okay. Is it? Toward God? Is it toward some of the earthly things? Or is it have all these plagues that we have of our own heart? You know, because we was like already, you know, um, inherited what our ancestors passed down to us. All right. So sometimes they gave us like good things and sometimes they gave us like bad things. But sometimes we don't know the difference. Because all of it, you know, almost begin to blend together and it all will, almost like look the same. So are we being influenced by what and by who? Since everything is about an influencer. So who are we 
really being influenced by. All right. So it's time to like wake up, wake up. Oh, you sleeper. We've been sleeping on ourselves. Yes, we are behind. I know in the in the church school, it is like we almost two weeks behind. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just had to wait and make sure that what the word is, what the word. You know, I just can't come and present anything to you because this is your life, you know? All right. So it's time to wake up and to remove the scales off our eyes because sometimes we are blind. We are blinded by, you know, what really is the truth because a lot of people say, oh, they truth is the truth or your truth is the truth. But do we know what the truth is? All right. So this is what we're going to do. All right. So if you know the truth, all right, follow it. If you don't, you know what I'm saying? Just keep listening to what's the word have you heard? Because it's always going to be a truth to hear for you. It's always going to be a word here to help you along your way. All right, so it's time to do what we need to do. So we've inherited, you know, all these good things and these bad things. Uh, but do we know the difference? So we have to understand what is and what is not. So are we able to stop this ball that's been rolling, that's been rolling even from a long time ago, from our ancestors, you know? So we have to understand our ancestry lineage and then go in that way, all right? So if you good, be good. If you bad, be bad, you know? And sometimes, you know, the bad will come for you. It will. And it's always all kinds of tests, trials, and tribulations that's here on this earth that always here to stop us and block us from making it to our destination of what we supposed to be, who we supposed to be and what we supposed to be doing. Excuse me. Okay. So it's time for repentance and confession. All right. So understand that um, with our ancestors, like David and Hezekiah, he, they taught us how to pray. So if you don't know how to pray, it's like how David and Hezekiah did. They just talk. Just like I'm talking to you, that's how they talk, okay, to God, all right? So that's what we are to do. So we are to repent and then do some confession. And, you know, I always say that I'm in the confession business. I confess what I done done, you know what I'm saying? If my back is against the wall, I'm look, I'm going to tell what you done and I'm going to tell what I've done, you know? And it's like a, a action according to a reaction. I reacted because of your action, so... <laughs> You already know sometimes people put you in that situation, but you have to be in forgiveness because look, the, the spirit of this world always can use whoever they want to use. It can be your family, your friend, you know, a, a foe, somebody you don't know. You never know, but always be up on your game. All right. So it's never too late to like turn around and go the right way. So the whole purpose of the spirit of this world is to keep you distracted. All right. Distracted from the truth. OK, so till all the breath is like sucked out of you, you know, and then that you have no life anymore. And then it's like it's too late, you know, so make sure that you d make up, a, you know, a decision for yourself within yourself, who you want to be, what side you want to be on, the believers or non-believers. And then you go for it and you live that life. All right. So always stay tuned to the next episode of What's the Word Have You Heard? Because I'm always going to give you a word to help you along your way. And our next episode will be about how to repent and how to confess. All right. So blessings unto you. Peace and love. And always stay tuned to What's the Word Have You Heard? Blessings. And you know, we're out.